Hey guys, Mr. B here again. My third video of the night. Alright, so, um, a couple of you guys have been asking me for a video on multiplying and dividing rationals. And long alas, here it is. Okay. Um, in class, we discussed a couple of different ways on multiplying and dividing rationals specifically. Um, I'll get into the specifics of dividing rationals in just a sec. Um, this is a typical um, multiplying rationals problem. And we all know how we tackle this, basically, right? All we do is, for multiplying rational numbers or fractions, we all we do, there's no common denominator, there's nothing. You go straight across the top, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. That works 100% of the time. Uh, it'll never fail you, okay? However, um, let's look at this example. 7 times 44, that's not an easy multiplication. 11 times 21, also not an easy multiplication. Um, so, there's a couple of things that I taught you guys to be aware of and that we can make our life easier by trying to reduce or cancel some stuff out. I know that 7 can go into 21. 21 is 7 times 3. I know that 11 can go into 44. 44 is 4 times 11. So let me just break this guy up a bit first. Okay, so 7 and 11. There's not much I can do with that. Times, and don't forget about my negative. Well, 44 is 4 times, I'm going to put it, instead of having a dot there, I'm going to, well, uh, Instead of having a multiplication sign, I'll put a dot there. That's usually what I do just to, when I'm trying to break a number up. Why did I write that? Seven. Divide it by and 3 times 7. So if I look here, I could cancel my 7s right here. Let me get a different color marker. Cancel my 7s. Cancel my 11s. And miraculously, look at the answer which I am left with. I am left with negative 4 over 3. Okay? So, I, by just doing that little bit of canceling, I managed to make my life a little bit easier. Let's just try it the other way. And, of course, it's negative because I got a positive times a negative. You should always think about that. Um, let's just try it the other way. So, I'm going to have to actually use my calculator here. Um, okay, my trusty iPhone. 7 times... 44 is 308, and we'll call that negative because we got our negative symbol. And then 11 times 21 is 231. Now, we in fact know where we have to go with this, but because we did this way. But if you if you had to, someone had to say to me, that equals negative 3 over 4, I'd be say, are you serious? Because it doesn't look like it does at first. So what we in fact have to divide this guy by in order to get here. Now we could try, you know, you might want to try, uh, well usually I would look at not, not divisible by 2. It's not going to be divisible by, um, you know, 4. Maybe you try 3. I don't know. But that's what you have to do to try and break this guy down. So um, I in fact know that if I divide this guy by, um, divide it by, 77 divided by 77, that I'm going to end up with um, negative 3 or negative 4 over 3. Let me just double check that. Yeah, negative 4 over 3. So, like I said, this is the right answer, but you got to make sure you get it reduced. All right? And if it's not reduced, then it's not right. Okay, it's not, well, I shouldn't say it's not right. It's not complete. All right? It's not complete. And this answer isn't complete either. This is actually a negative 1 and 1 over 3. And this is the same thing, negative 1 and 1 over 3. So we want to reduce the answer in mixed number form. Now, I guess you could have wrote this guy as this and skipped this step. But still, you had to reduce that fraction out there, whatever's left. Okay? So keep that in mind for multiplying. But, you know, some examples you won't be able to do this step with. You just got to go straight to here and... It won't be as hard to cancel, but if you find something like this and you think, oh my god, how does this guy reduce? 
Think about reducing it first and then trying it. Alrighty, let's have a look at a division one. So this is a division one. And what your first thing you'll notice here is that I no longer have just improper fractions or irregular fractions. I have a mixed number here. So my recommendation is to deal with mixed numbers when the multiplying or dividing fractions immediately change to a improper fraction. It's just easier. It takes away the hassle. Um, that's my suggestion. And I am your teacher, so I guess you should probably take that suggestion. But if I'm not your teacher and your teacher has another idea, then um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to, for me to say. I just think that, you know what, it's easy to do it this way. This works. So that's my suggestion. Follow it if you wish. So I'm going to change this guy. So 10 times 1 is 10 plus 3 is 13 over 10. All right, so now I'm in business. I got a two um, non-mixed numbers, and I can go ahead and commence with my um, dividing by uh, rational, dividing rational. So one thing I want you to keep in mind is we flip and multiply. All right, so we actually never do dividing. Just sort of like we never have to do subtraction, we never have to actually divide if we don't want to. Flip and multiply, and what I mean by flip is we find the reciprocal of this guy. The reciprocal is a fancy word for saying put the 10 on top and the 13 on bottom. That's all it is. Some, somebody along the way wanted to find a fancy term to make himself feel smart. All it is is we flip it around. And that's what I say to my students. Flip and multiply. So we change the this div division sign to a multiplication sign, and we flip the second fraction, and we get 10 over 13. That's it. This is the reciprocal. Okay, so you hear someone say reciprocal. Now, why didn't you just say flip? Alrighty, so um, now this is not necessarily something we can reduce. Like in the last one, you noticed we had something we could reduce, but in this one, nope, we can't do that. So we just got to go ahead, straight across the top, straight across the bottom. No common denominators. I do want, not want to see anybody finding a common denominator for multiplying and dividing. It's a complete waste of time. So I got 7 times 10 is 70. 8 times 13. I do not want to mess this up on live TV here that I'm on. Well, I shouldn't say live TV. Live YouTube. And then uh, 70 over 104. So um, I got to try and reduce this guy. I'm going to take the long way because I'm kind of lazy. 70 divided by 2 is 35. 104 divided by 2 is 52. And is that reducible anymore? Um, I'm going to say no, it isn't. All right, so hopefully it isn't. Let me just wait a second. All right, um, let me try one number. Let me see. No, it's not. Okay, we're good. All right, and if anybody finds that it is, please comment, all right? So, guys, that's it. Um, I mean, the biggest thing with dividing, flip and multiply, um, with the, with multiplication, just remember your signs. Um, maybe you want to think about finding if it's negative or positive first based on the number of signs you have there. All right, guys, so hopefully this makes sense. Um, I'll have one more video on rational numbers, and that's bed mass. So um, take her easy. Good luck with your study, and I'll see you in class.